I'm Riley Nelson reporting on the Diag with Sports Night, trying to gauge people's opinions of the Deflategate proceedings. In January, the New England Patriots were accused of deflating footballs in the AFC Championship game. While they had a lot to celebrate following their Super Bowl victory, pressure loomed over the Patriots organization, and specifically quarterback Tom Brady, in what sports media later dubbed Deflategate. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell responded to the scandal by slapping Brady with a four-game suspension, which was only later overturned by a federal judge. Ironically, in the first two games of the season that he shouldn't be playing, Brady leads the NFL in yards, completions, and touchdowns. We took to the Diag to see what the student body has to say about the former Michigan quarterback and Deflategate. Brady being a former Michigan football player, do you feel any emotion regarding the publicity surrounding Deflategate? Uh, absolutely not. Um, I think it's kind of silly to connect a university's identity to something like that. I just, I think it's stupid. Well, the, the Patriots, as an organization, as an institution, have been caught with many scandals over the last decade, decade and a half. But honestly, it's not the quarterback and it's itself fault. He's a player. He, he's a part of the system. It is the administrators and the people in charge that really should be penalized for they said wrongdoings. Um, all the stuff that's going on with, you know, the deflate gate and uh, them videotaping people in the past and then all the stuff at the very beginning of this season with uh, the radio going in and out and uh, just everything. I, I, I'm not a big fan of Tom Brady. He's a good quarterback, respect, but don't like him that much. So after the way he handled Ray Rice, Adrian Peterson, and now Deflategate, do you think Roger Goodell is losing control of the NFL? Yeah, I think so, because it seems like every suspension he gives out gets uh, re like appealed and like gets shortened. So I feel like his credibility is kind of going down, like people are re losing respect for him, at least I kind of am. Um, I think a little bit, yeah. I think he needs to like kind of crack down on players and set like a better standard for the NFL. I think we need stricter standards in the NFL. I think there's a variety of, for like the domestic violence cases and compared to Tom Brady who's going to get the same punishment as some of those, I think there's not solid enough standards for the different crimes that people have committed. Do you think Deflategate has given Brady a chip on his shoulder or that he's just being normal Brady right now? Oh, most definitely. I mean, he's still, he's still a great player and no matter what, he would have the success he has. He's one of the best quarterbacks ever. But at the same time, being directly snubbed by a commissioner and attacked personally for something that he may or may not have had something directly to do with w would make anyone slightly angry. I think a little bit of both, but uh, Tom Brady's always going to be Tom Brady. Uh, I got a lot of respect for him but I don't like him. <laughs> I think absolutely he's playing with a chip on his shoulder. You know, you watch him even in pregame, he's got a like, crazy face on, you know, he looks so intense. He definitely has a chip on his shoulder and he definitely, he's playing every game, every down, like he's trying to improve. As you heard, Michigan has very mixed opinions on Deflategate. One thing everyone can agree upon though, is that despite the seven month ordeal, Tom Brady has been able to come back and show dominance on the field, only adding to his Hall of Fame resume. What are your opinions? Tweet to us at Wolf Sports Night for a chance to have your opinion featured on the show. I'm Riley Nelson. Thanks for watching.